Morning, Surrey Chapel. Just a quick um, pastor's update. Four things to highlight um, for you. First thing to say, we're starting a brand new um, series this coming Sunday morning called Church uh, Reset. One of the things I've been reflecting about is um, false teaching can be good for the church. I'll tell you why, because it forces us to go back into the scripture and see what does the God really say about um, uh a certain truth and often truths that we may become over familiar with or become flabby with uh, come back in a sharpness of light that blesses us and gives us joy and makes us want to proclaim Christ and I wonder whether the pandemic has slightly worked in that way maybe we become over familiar with church the beauty and the glory of being able to gather together as the church and as that's been stripped away uh, we have been forced to reflect on what is church, you know, why are we meeting together? What does it mean to do church? And so uh, what we're going to do over the next um, uh, couple of months, really, on the lead up to Easter is to think about different aspects of what the Bible says about what it means for us to be church. It's going to be a topical series. It's going to be brilliant. And uh, we'd love you to join us. That's starting this coming Sunday. Uh, the second thing to say, we've got Sunday evening seminars. As you know, um, there's still space or time to um, sign up if you want to come. Uh, one on uh, gospel-centered parenting. That's going to be starting at 8 o'clock. And the other two starting at 7 o'clock. Um, gospel-centered ethics. Um, thinking about um, what the secular view of the body is and how the Christian view of the body is very different and how that impacts on euthanasia and transgender issues and abortion, a whole host of stuff. It's brilliant. That's Bev doing that. And also a time thinking about prayer. One of the things that people, Christians have been struggling actually during um, this time where people have been crying out for help. How do I pray? Uh, Gary will be um, doing that. Uh, that's this coming Sunday night. We'd love to join you for that. That's the second thing. Uh, the third thing to say is um, this coming Wednesday, uh, there's going to be a new initiative started called Coffee Break. It's going to be meeting at 10 o'clock on Zoom, uh, hosted by um, Brian and Ross Spatchett. And it's just a chance to get together, have a coffee and have a chat over Zoom. We know that um, this, is, this pandemic is isolating us. It really is. And it's just an opportunity to see people, have a chat. Uh, there'll be some other things going on as well. Uh, we'd absolutely love you to come along to that. Details about that will be on Church Matters, and that'll be brilliant. That's this 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 um, coming Wednesday. It'll be the first and third uh, Wednesdays of the month for the next couple of months. We'll see how it goes. And the fourth thing to say is there's a couple of books that we're going to be buying a job lot of, and um, if you would like one, uh, let us know, and uh, you'll be able to pay um, we'll tell you about it in a moment, but um, the first book is a book called Tumbling the Sky, Psalm Devotions for Weary um, Souls. I think uh, particularly if you're finding it hard to read your Bible during this time and you've sort of got out of um, devotion that way, and maybe you're just finding your souls are really weary. I think um, these are really outstanding uh, little short devotions that reflect on a couple of verses and really do apply the gospel truth to our hearts. Uh, Matt's a really gifted uh, writer and um, generally these would be eight quid uh, we're buying them a load of them it'll cost you four quid uh, if you like a copy of that then you need to email uh, the office and the other one is um, a bit thicker uh, it's not so much devotions but um, they are reflections called gentle and lowly by Dane Ortland the heart of Christ for sinners and sufferers uh, and it reflects on what does it mean for Jesus to be gentle and lowly um, in heart uh, it is it's a book that will will push you so it's you know it's not the easiest of reads all the time but some of the truths in here are just dramatic and life-giving um, it's a really fresh reflection on Jesus heart and um, for his people uh, generally it would be 16 quid if you went to 10 of those then you get it for 13 quid but if we buy a job lot of them uh, we can get them for nine pounds uh, and so if you would like either of these books or maybe both of these books um, email the office you can see that through um, church matters let them know uh, we'll order a load and we will make sure they get to you in a covid um, secure way and um, there's details in church matters how you can pay for those as well whether that be through the church website or paying directly into the, the church bank account and um, you can find out through church matters look um, trust you have a good weekend Keep looking up. God is in charge. He is working out his plans and purposes. We can trust him and uh, look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless.